Hey guys, All in Crypto here, and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, for another YouTube video. Hopefully, you've all had a great start to your weeks. This is just going to be a Cardano update video. Really, the main question that we're going to be asking and hopefully answering is should you buy Cardano um, for the run up to the Vasil hard fork? Seen lots of articles floating around talking about accumulation, um, but we're going to dive into the charts a little bit, really reiterate our bias that ultimately, you know, broadly for the cryptocurrency market, we think there's more pain to come, even though we, we, you know, for altcoins, we're down 80 plus percent. I think given the macro situation that we find ourselves in, it's going to be um, a turbulent time, to say the least. Now, that doesn't mean that any of these projects necessarily are dead. Some undoubtedly were or are. But a coin like Cardano um, is really here to stay and it's here to change the world. Uh, and I really do believe that and mean that when I say it. I was looking at a retweet from Charles Hoskinson, basically talking about what's going on in China. Riots breaking out in China as bank has frozen deposits and won't allow customers act to access their funds. The retweet here is, if only we had some sort of digital cash system that doesn't require uh, fractional reserve storage and is always available anywhere in the world. This really reminds me of why blockchain is so important, why crypto is so important. Cardano is a part of that. And one reason, I always get asked the question, why, why Cardano? You know, why are you a fan of this blockchain? And my reasons consistently change um, because there's an ever-growing number of reasons to be in ADA. I don't know how many of you guys caught the Wing Riders um, AMA that we did on their Twitter, on Twitter Live. Um, but we spoke about a lot of things that are coming down the line with the likes of DeFi and, and lending and all these amazing things. And ADA in terms of a blockchain, last but not least the, the Vasil hard fork has never been in such a good position has never been more prime than it is today and the price does not reflect that what the price reflects is supply and demand and that the demand is low um and and that you know we don't have the same amount of buyers that we once did you know markets essentially are driven by liquidity march 2020 onwards saw huge amounts of liquidity pumped into markets across the board we are not in that situation anymore. And in actual fact, we're in an adverse situation to that. I think the printing continues eventually, but I think for now we've got a turbulent time period ahead. And those of you that can survive today will reap the rewards tomorrow. Um, figuratively speaking, I'm not talking about a 24 hour period. So let's get into it, guys. The number of articles were circulating Cardano sharks scoop up 79.1 million ADA ahead of the Vasil hard fork. Um, there's another couple of articles here. Cardano Ada whales are back fishing after a short, after a strong retest. Here's what's next. Cardano Ada has been fairly bearish on the charts over the last 12 months. However, its fortune, its fortunes might be about to change now that whales are finding it uh, attractive at lower prices. Cardano's supply distribution metric uh, on sentiment seems to provide a clear look at what the top addresses have been doing during the bear market. According to the same addresses holding 10,000 to 100,000 ADA coins have been consistently accumulating in the last 30 days. Now, when I look at the charts, so this will take into account, I believe, um, the reference in sentiment here, um, which will take into account, I believe, ADA wallets. So not potentially exchange wallets, which is where the majority of volume for ADA in terms of buying and selling will take place. This was a tweet that was referenced in this article saying, as Cardano's price performance has stayed uh, particularly underwhelming in 2022, addresses holding 10,000 to 100,000 ADA are now accumulating. They've added 79.1 million ADA to their collective bags in 30 days. Meanwhile, 100K to 10 million whales have um, ceased their dumping. So these guys were dumping. This isn't actually typical to what we see in a hard fork run up. And if we look at some simple metrics, like just very simply the volume metric, um, first of all, in hindsight, and it's something I should have paid a lot more attention to, you know, we got how 2021 was going to end wrong. You know, I thought this bull run was going to continue into this year. If I'd only paid a bit more attention to the macro situation, it would have become very apparent. The fact that we made the September Alonso high on exceptionally low volume really showed a lack of demand. We also have divergences. Um, the demand index is not a great one for that, but you can see you had huge divergences here. 
this is all hindsight guys and hindsight is always 2020 um but that's still the case today so we haven't seen a shift in these metrics accumulating distribution metric yeah okay you can see that there was slightly more there but this has been very consistent the reason i'm bringing these up is to show that there's been no bullish divergences take place to date and we keep on keeping on with this macro downtrend until we see reason to suggest otherwise um you know is cardano just doing a similar thing to what it did in 2017 or what ethereum did in 2017 i think very much so are we going to get a relief rally at some point undoubtedly so is the whole market that will typically occur when everyone is at the most bearish as it always does because markets like to wreck people but ultimately for me and we still hold ADA, you know, we've got about a, a, a just over 20% cash position, uh, sorry, crypto position. The majority of my um, portfolio is in USDC and, and USDT. And once more Cardano options in terms of farming come online with stable coins, then, then you know, that that's kind of how it's going to remain. But there's some brilliant things coming around the corner for ADA. It's just that the price action is, again, led by... The, the the macro kind of conditions uh, and ultimately for me this comes lower before it goes higher um could be wrong but i'm taking that bet personally you know we still hold 20 plus percent crypto just as a kind of hedge against me being wrong but my portfolio really speaks for itself in regards to the sense that i'm i'm very cash heavy and we certainly weren't the first out of ada we weren't the first out of bitcoin bitcoin we were getting out of 40k um and cardano you know it wasn't really up until recently when we were getting out and we certainly said in regards to ADA, anything under a dollar is bad news um, because that was key macro support um, that, that, of course, we're now trading below. So I do, I do think we go lower eventually. Do I think Cardano returns and, and, you know, comes back with a vengeance along with the rest of the cryptocurrency market? Absolutely. But the conditions have to be met for that. If you think about markets, they're driven by human beings. A recession, and this is still a statement that I, I continue to reiterate. We'll take the drawers off. Bitcoin has only been about since 2008. Markets, if we look at the NASDAQ as an example, since 2008 have just gone up. Yeah, so 2008 is down here, guys, where I'm hovering my cursor. Yeah, this is what markets have done. And this has been the backdrop for Bitcoin. Yeah, we've seen dips, but generally they've just gone up. And this is because of the kind of stimula uh, stimulatory conditions that we found ourselves in. This is going to be the first recession Bitcoin goes into. And if you look how the tech sector acts and the correlation that we have with the tech sector in a recession, it, to me, it paints quite a clear future um, in regards to, you know, the next three months or so. I think this market recovers a lot sooner than many expect, but I think we've got turbulence to go through. And ultimately, we're going to keep on with that assessment until we see reason to suggest otherwise. Um, and right now, we're not seeing it. Certainly, there's no sort of divergences on your indicators. You know, we can very clearly see that money is flowing looking at the money flow index here which is this one out of these markets and not into them if you look at the accumulate and distribute indicator very very similar and it's even more clear here um, very similar story you can see that there's not been a divergence there. that's something we'd look for to maybe re-enter um, but for now you know ultimately we think that you know a cash position is going to benefit you the, ga the, the, the goal with a cash position has always been to get back into crypto. I don't want to hold cash, but I think in times where cash becomes illiquid uh, in regards to being scarce, which sounds absolutely crazy given the fact that they've, um, you know, essentially printed so much money, it, it's going to hold you to, it's going to benefit you to hold it because I think you're going to get some chip, uh, crypto at a really discounted rate. We're also seeing the dollar do very well. We, we have stated this an, a million and one times. Um, but that was really it for this video. You know, we've kind of rambled on quite a lot um just bringing this tweet up again you know this is blockchain's become very speculative and i don't think there's anything wrong with that listen i'm here to make money like everybody else i'm not one of these influencers that pretend anything different you know but i also do believe in what you know satoshi's vision was um i'm a huge critic of central banks and ultimately think that crypto um could provide some sort of a lifeboat and a um a way to move away from that i do believe that certainly you know not just bitcoin in in a monetary sense and a store of value sense but smart contracts in a kind of uh contractual sense and i still very much do believe that i just think we're we're in for a sticky time period but that being said there's some amazing things coming around the corner um you know on the wing riders 
Twitter Live, I spoke about a number of things like how I'm really excited for the Jed and algorithmic stablecoin will typically change the game um, for an ecosystem, certainly a DeFi ecosystem, pumps lots of liquidity into it. And also I'm really excited for borrowing and lending and all these other amazing things that are, you know, happening within the Cardano ecosystem. That is all I've got for you in this video, guys. Um, what we'll do quickly, actually, before I, I drop is just take a little look at some smaller time frames to really just see where we're at. You know, we initially said, look, I mean, you're selling on to support here, right? Not typically what you want to do, but you're, can you see how you're kind of, you know, not going any higher here? And you can also see that, you know, money is, is also flowing out again. So, so for us, we're still um, going to maintain the, the kind of short to midterm bearish bias. Um, but anything could happen, guys. We could be wrong. But ultimately, I think it's going to hold us in the long term to hang off from buying ADA right now and other cryptos um, and, and, and waiting for that um, further capitulation that may or may not come. Not financial advice, just my own opinion. You guys make your own decisions. Um, we're all adults here um, to, to get back in and, and then really be some of the main beneficiaries of how the future is going to look involving blockchain. All I've got for you in this video, guys, if you've enjoyed the content, a like is always appreciated, so as a comment, and I'll catch each and every one of you in the next YouTube video. Thanks a lot for watching, guys.